Get hype, get hype. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's day 11. Things have been like, okay. I've cleaned, I've organized. We've been vlogging like crazy. Follow me on my vlog channel. Yeah, things have been fine, except I'm like bored as hell. I'm running out of things to do. Just to like make everything even worse, my favorite coffee shop is closed and I can't even go to it. And I'm very aware that that is the first world problem and I need to just suck it up and make my own coffee here. But the truth is like, I love my fancy lattes and I love my cappuccinos and I can't get it and I can't make it here either. Or can I? For for today's video, we are going to try to master the drip coffee. I like to think I'm like a fancy coffee person, but I'm not. I've met the fancy coffee people. I have friends that are fancy coffee people. I'm not one of them. So this is a new thing for me, but I got all the things. I got one of these things. I know I'm supposed to have a special like fancy encore grinder, but you know, I'd have to order it and it wasn't gonna come for a very long time. So <laughs> went to the grocery store, got a handheld grinder because YOLO. Got some fancy almond milk. I would prefer oat. I wanna throw that out there. I'm just working with what we have here, okay guys? It's a pandemic. I got my fancy measuring cup. <laughs> Fancy. We've got some Stumptown coffee beans because Stumptown is my favorite kind of coffee bean. And this is the French roast organic coffee clove and bittersweet chocolate kind. We got the filters for, what is this called again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We got the filters. I have a tablespoon. I know I'm supposed to have the cool like water kettle to pour over the coffee pot when we're doing this kind of thing, but I don't have one of those. And again, that was gonna take forever to get here. So I have a normal teapot kettle. That's what we're gonna use. I have the instructions all printed out and my roommate Taryn over here is going to uh, read them off for me so I don't have to go back and forth. Are you ready? Yes. So this particular recipe is from one of your favorites. Can you guess? <laughs> Alfred? No. The blue bottle? Yeah, the blue bottle. <laughs> recipe, or what do you have? Recipe? Uh, how to. How to. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're doing great. Step one, bring at least 600 grams of water to boil. Grams. <laughs> Ooh, okay, 20 ounces? 20 ounces. 20, all right, I can do that. Got my water, here is the kettle. Don't you have to like put it in for it to boil? <laughs> it must have been leftover droplets. <laughs> I'm scared to pour it in there. <laughs> oh! Step two, grind 30 grams of coffee, which is like three tablespoons, to a coarseness resembling sea salt. Grind it up, girl. Okay. It's like a pepper grinder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> smell it. Oh my God, that smells so good. <sighs> Three tablespoons. That should be enough. I don't know. We'll just grind a little extra because maybe we'll feel adventurous and we'll try this again. <laughs> this goes on here, this goes here. You're doing great, sweetie. Oh my god. I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Oh, look at her go! Look at her go! Yeah! <laughs> you go now. It's so much better than so much Yeah. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Watch, it's like one table. <laughs> uh, I think that's a solid maybe three. I think I should just go a little bit more. Yeah. Like she probably is so much. <laughs> I was like, I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a minute? Take the glass thingy. I think it needs to be washed. <laughs> Step three, place a filter in the dripper. It's a dripper. There's a name for it though. Oh. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> We recommend wetting the filter with hot water and then dumping the water before you proceed to brew. Okay. How are you supposed to dump that? 
Add the ground coffee to the filter and gently tap it to level the surface of the grounds. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Tablespoon. Are we talking flat or like yeah. heaping? How do you measure things? It's not like a as needed. Well, when I make cookies. No, you gotta do it with your finger. Like you go like it's over heaping. it to make it. Okay. <laughs> it was pretty flat. There's extra. You want to go? <laughs> so now you tap it to make sure it's level. Okay. It's a Chemex. Is it? Yeah. There will be four pours total for this coffee. It's like this. The scale? Put that on it and then make it zero. Ounces, right? No, grams. Begin pouring water slowly over the coffee, starting at the outer rim and moving in a spiral towards the center. Stop pouring when the scale reaches 60 grams. <laughs> I think I got the wrong filters. Oh no. Is that 60 grams already? 69. <laughs> oh no. So now we need to give it 45 seconds before we move to the second pour. Count in your head. So now start in the center of the ground and pour in a steady spiral going out to the edge then back towards the center. You're going to add roughly 90 grams bringing the total to 150 grams. How many grams is it? 159. Hey! <laughs> it smells good. It smells like breakfast. Allow 45 to 65 seconds to elapse. What does elapse mean? For time to elapse. You look like a pro. It's because I'm in all black. Oh my gosh, it's so true. You have a hair on your shoulder. That's not professional. <laughs> As the mixture of water and coffee from the second pour drops to the bottom of the filter, pour an additional 100 grams of water using the same pattern as the second pour, center to out to center. That will bring you to 250 grams and should take about 15 to 20 seconds. How many grams total? 250. What's it at? 274. Oh my gosh. It's not a proper pour. When the water and coffee from the third pour drops to the bottom of the filter, complete your fourth and final pour. <laughs> at 100 grams, bringing the total up to 350 grams of water, this pour should take 20 seconds. Rude. Fourth and final. It's the final countdown. I was gonna say like four. <laughs> it's just all the rest of it, right? Yeah. Now what? Okay, literally, now it just says enjoy a cup of coffee. Pull it out, girl. Oh my god. Pull it up, pull it up. Watch it all fall out. Pull it up, pull it up. That's how we ball out. I'm gonna get demonetized because I sound just like oh, her. Exactly. <laughs> It's pretty good. I'm just gonna add a splash, like a splash. <laughs> I'm into it. Wanna taste it? Yeah. That's strong. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it like a latte later. But like it legit tastes like yeah. coffee. Yeah, right yeah. Uh huh. I'm pretty proud of myself. Can I try it? Yes. 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 This is it blue bottle? It's blue bottles. Um, recipe. Technique. Oh wow, it tastes expensive. It's earthy. Mm -hmm. It's Alicia earthy. Marie. It looks earthy. There's a little bit of almond milk. Oh, that's why. <laughs> it's just watery. Well, it's my first time. <laughs> I don't sugar Sorry, product. I thought we were, I thought we were like, you know, being honest. <laughs> Almond milk can taste like watery too. Exactly. Can I try this? Yeah. Can I have a refill, please? <laughs> pow it up, pow it up. Pow it up, pow it up. Pow it let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so much better. I'm actually not a big almond milk fan. Me neither. They were out of oat. That tastes better. Huh. It's good. Hey yo. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for watching my very first drip experience. <laughs> I would like to remind you that this was my very first drip experience there might be more in the future and maybe we'll try some lattes and maybe we'll try some fancy things i have faith in you i appreciate you <laughs> like share rate subscribe review is that podcast I'm mixing with? <laughs> okay bye guys